பண்ணலாம்
Sama bagsak ni.
Championship. Ano yung kailangan nyo gawin individually and as a team? Jay, what do you say? Siguro uh, individually, uh, kailangan namin yung, yung composure. Lalo na sa mga ganong game, uh, pag sa team naman, yung laking slow start, eh, kailangan namin na improve yun. And good thing naman sa nangyari sa team is nag-respond sa kanilang maayos yun. After, after ng slow start, so thankful kami dahil yung second unit namin nandun para sa, nandun lagi para sa first unit. So, yun lang, kailangan lang, i, kailangan lang ituloy nila yun. Pero sa part ng first unit, kailangan, kailangan paguhin yung habits na gano'n. Thank you, J.D. Tugani! You played your best game in a, in a fighting maroons uniform with 10 points on 3 on 3 shooting and 4 rebounds. So, Yung nga sabi ni JD, kayo nagdala rin nagdala sa game na ito. So, what can you say na you with first year mo sa UP, yung final four ka? What can you say? Um, obviously, uh, it's my first year. So, you know that year off I had was um, definitely hard, you know, not playing in UAP. So, I was trying to find that rhythm in my head and adjust it. And I think it's nice to finally, you know, I've been working hard this past three weeks, you know, we were really focusing on, you know, our defense, you know, running and executing. And I think with that, I did practice translates to game. So, um, and obviously, one of my finals, my first being in the final four, so I'm really excited. But like uh, Jamie said, I'm just trying to be composed. And we know that this isn't the our final goal. Our final goal is at championships. So it's just keep executing, keep running the plays, keep running the ball, keep playing hard. Okay, 
think it genuinely deploys off a word question. Coach, uh, any update on Harold? You didn't play in this game. Uh, Ano po yung status niya ngayon? Well, status niya ngayon is uh, mga day-to-day. You know? um, you know, yung, yung two weeks na nawala, um, ano rin eh, kung baga, may positive and negative, then nakapagpahinga, nakapag-prepare, but at the same time, you know, not only for the players, even for the coaches, no? parang malaper under the weather and all of that. So, um, injury is also a part of it because though the longer the break, uh, the more practices, you know? and not only us. I think, um, pati ibang teams. Uh, I think a few players for Adamson were missing uh, as well. So um, what's important is um, you pag step up ng bawat isa. Um, just like you know, Sigani. Um, you know, the players kept mentioning in in, in the previous interviews that uh, tonight it can be my my. The next game it can be Harold. The next game it can be QMB. Uh, tonight it's you know it's Gani next you know it could be Sean it could be anyone I think what's important is that everybody's um, on the same page regardless of their minutes inside long or short you know basta prepare lang kami yung mindset namin and execute lang namin lahat ang kailangan namin JD mentioned mo kanina medyo nagiging trend yung slow starts uh, for you Pero sa tingin mo, on coming from the inside, ano na lang yung nakikita mo naglalak? Bak- bakit ganun yung nagiging starts ng UP? Ano yung kailangan yung ayusin para hindi na maulit ito sa later games? Siguro um, nandun yung part na uh, siguro yung piyansa masyado. And masyadong relax, especially galing sa break. Uh, siguro kailangan lang namin tanggalin yung habit na ganun. Kailangan, kailangan ibalik kung, kung paano kami nag-start ng season. Um, every, every start ng game, kailangan gain gagal. Yanni, yeah, this is your best game for UP so far. I guess for you, how are you easing into your role uh, with your new team? And how does, how, is it, how does it feel to have that kind of game for UP this time around? Um, it feels good, you know. It's definitely like something I can use like that for myself. And it's been easy, you know, my teammates have been supporting me, all my coaches, they've been working me off the court after practices. Because they know what I can do, it was just them trying to pull it out of me to like, you know, find that fire I had and, you know, just bring it to the watch the game. So I've just been trying to do that, you know, this has been supporting all my teammates supporting me, so that's really it. Coach, uh, I want to ask them uh, what was the what was the uh, instructions from Coach Gold no last three minutes and forty <coughs> something seconds because the uh, nakuha mo wala yung even from Adamson. Well, just to and uh, have better reads on the floor you know, in the second half, specifically in the fourth quarter, they zoned us a lot. They're changing their defense, um, so you read the player na pa importante regardless of because uh, the plays are there. Uh, it's just for them to. To read it and execute it, and you know the players responded. You know the, the ball was moving; they're making you know better reads, and therefore we were getting open looks, especially underneath. You know, Gani had a couple underneath on the left side. QMB had a dunk in the end. He also had had one before that. Uh, Abajano had a open corner three. Mai Mai also had an you know open three to the wing pass by Mark from flash from the high post. So these are small details, no? That uh, you know coaches when they talk about. You know, attention to detail, uh, yung detalye ng mga bawat play, bawat defense, uh, it's up to them of how they would execute those details because it's not enough that they know it. Uh, it's what's important is how they read it and how they execute it inside the floor. Uh, for Kagulaman, what was it like? Look, ikaw yung nag-start nung 3, nung 12 sa Tura na yan. You, and then you saw everybody just chipping in the lap for that run. Um, yung run na yun, uh, big part sa coaching staff na kasi ginad nila kami na maayos na sila yung nakakita sa, sa labas yun. So alam nila kung anong possible option sa kung anong play na itatakbo namin. And kami naman player lang yun. Sabi nga ni Coach Lins, kailangan lang namin ma-execute yung mga passes yung mga tamang papasahan. So thank you po lang sa coaching staff na. Thank you. Kung to you had your best game na fighting for his uniform. So can you confidently say that you're still settling in the TV or is there much room for improvement heading into the final four and the second round? 
Um, obviously, I think there's a lot of room for improvement. I would have liked to have this start, you know, obviously at the beginning of the first round. But, you know, just from here, I'm hoping to you know, have to continue up with the to where at the championship and final four, and that's where I'm starting to be. But I'm just going to continue to work hard off the court and we're just listen to my coaches and then my team. Coach, siguro na lang mo sasabi niyo about Gani na yun na nung una medyo nagsisetel yung pa pero ngayon is he's slowly starting to blossom into that role that he has to fulfill for you. Well, um, nabangita kanina, no? um, especially for the last two weeks with this uh, break that we had, he's been really working hard. No? And what he meant by that was the extra hours yeah, before and after and after practice. And this, these are things that we don't even tell him or tell them to do. And, Uh, you know, I, I was a witness to that, and also yung mga uh, ibang players. I guess dalaram dalan narin yung yung parang excitement dahil sa, sa tagal namin hindi ineglero, no? Because of the weather, na cancel yung yung game, na move to another uh, schedule. Gigil narin sila, eh. so uh, dahil dun sa sa excitement or sa sa gigil na yon, you know, binuho sila dun sa support namin, so sa kami na kain sa yung and. Uh, You know, they, they, they reflect on you know specifically for him in, in tonight's game. So we're just really happy for him. Coach, both both uh, first and second encounters with Adam, so you needed to be in the first round. Na kami, round 31 to 9, na mga Adam sa mga una kayo, right. they get yung contest round the game. Siguro, ano na lang yung lesson sa mga po nyo heading to that Wednesday match of Battle of Katipuna against the A? Well, basketball, you know, it, it's an imperfect game, as Coach Golden always say. And tonight, there are a lot of imperfections. You know, 48 turnovers in total for both teams. Which, I, if I was a viewer, you know, which which I am on the sideline, so it is a total. I'm not going to enjoy much of the game because the flow is so much. It's so much. You know, but um, that that alone, I think, what's important is that in between the game, tulad ng tapang ni Maya, yung composure namin. You know, in between and and after, because once you get your emotions, you get too ahead of yourself, and, and sometimes you make decisions, poor decisions, out of those uh, emotions. Yeah, and this is an emotional game. Uh, I think what's important is that how we channel those emotions at the same time. And then din yung yung smarts namin sa uh, how we would execute, how we would, we would involve everyone, and defensively, how we would you know stay sharp and get some stops. For Coach and JD, uh, six straight final four appearances in a championship. Or would you say at this point, when uh, UP has already built a winning culture, or it's still something that you're still building and trying to prove in this season and all to come? Well, see, see, Coach Good. Um, one thing that you've always um, He always uh, said, to, regardless of what team, uh, and I've been with him for such a long time, he said, you know, a, a championship is, you know, more than just holding the trophy at the, at, at the end of the day. Uh, and you, you know, having that winning attitude in, inside the court, again, every play, every quarter, every possession, you know, and um, I believe, you know, that, uh, and he believes as well that the more consistent we are of being, being committed to those, You know, then you give yourselves an opportunity to succeed, and hopefully, you know, we could, we could give ourselves an opportunity. That opportunity comes again. You know, ang maganda dito, kung tama na banggit yung 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 destiny namin, nasa kamay pa namin. So um, we didn't even know na that this was like um, this was a clinching final four game. So I guess the next goal namin is that voice to beat because malaking bagay yung sa final four before we get you know ahead of ourselves. Um, muna pasok ni Coach Gold sa UAD. Hindi niya, hindi niya, hindi niya masabihin na gusto niyang gabing winning culture yung team namin. Pero mas mas more on pinaparamdam niya sa amin kung kung ano yung team na to, kung ano yung ibibig na culture ng team na to. So, start pa lang nun, nalamdaman ko na yun din. Pinush nila kami ng pinush naman sa narating narating namin yung mga gato. And for Gani, how you had to wait? So how worth it or how much has it been paying off? All the sacrifices, the long waits from the sidelines the last year. Would you say now that it's been all worth it for you now that you're playing for UP final? Yeah, um, definitely. You know, one thing that was always on my mind since I got to UP was I had the chance to play. And uh, at least make it to the final four and hopefully the 
championship. And to be able to finally reach the final four is definitely, you know, I'm excited. But, you know, it's like Coach and Jay was saying, John Martin, so to you know, continue to our goals is the championship. Um, for Coach Chris, from a coach's perspective, and for JD and Gani from a player's perspective, this was your first game this season without Coach Tom, if I remember correctly. What did you do to make sure that, despite his absence, you wouldn't slack on defense? Well, we, we work together. Um, you know, same thing about players of working together inside. You know, um, you know there's, there's so many of us, and but each, each coach has a role on the team. And, you know, when one goes down, just to the some of players, another has to step up. You know, so you know, Coach Bernard Digia, Coach Egay Makaraya, Coach Eric Gonzalez. Some of the sa situation ng team namin, the, the game, the names that I mentioned, dito mga baguhan, mga veteran na rin ito eh. So, um, yung mga ganitong situation, hindi na bago sa kanila. And sa amin naman lagi, tulungan naman, regardless kung coaches or players. Um, sa, sa players naman, uh, since uh, yung mga practices namin, lagi naman namin pinagabaw. Hindi naman sila nagbulang, especially Coach Tom. Hindi naman sila nagbulang kung anong, anong kailangan namin gawin sa defense. Kung, kung paano namin, paano namin uh, lalaro yung defense namin, especially yung, yung defense namin yun yung pinaka best, best offense namin. So, yun lang. Uh, Pagdating sa loob ng court, tulungan kami ng uh, pag-remind set up sa set isa. Uh, especially yung captain ball namin, napaka hindi siya nagulang na i-remind kami lahat. And, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, during that two weeks, we, uh, especially at this was our practice on uh, going back to our basics of defense. So, um, and then not having Coach Tom here, I think we took that as like a challenge for us to like, really take all the stuff we learned hard and implement it during the game, even though he's not there, you know. And crazy in the side and we just all try to do what he, what he taught us and the coach taught us. And then you know guys like my my Jerry are always like, you know, um uh, keep on telling us to you know, play good defense, remember what we learned, you know, keep communicating things like that. Do you know where he is? <laughs> coach Chris, six straight final four appearances for UP. Your first two years under the coach ball, analyst kapan sa TV, and then right now under K coach also what can you say about from being from being in that in a very different than you before than now what can you say about this program well it's amazing you know it's it's like a it's like a fairy tale story um because uh you know nakita natin ang, ang, ang UP before w- wala sa ganito you know um, even before coach Bo, diba? and then when coach Bo, um, took over. There are a lot of hurt pains uh, that they had to go through. Not only the whole team, but, but really the whole community. You know, but yeah, so from, you know, as much as uh, you know, I, I love my school, uh, USD, and they have great, you know, uh, a great fan base. But so is UP. I've learned to love uh, this community as well. Ibang klase. So in season 84 lang, three times a week ang laro. 10 a.m. ang first game, and. It felt like you know every every fan was there. I, I can still remember. So um, for us, you know, our, our for them to you know to take the time, the sacrifice, you know, paying for their tickets to come here, um, you know, we owe it to them just to to give our be- always put our best foot forward regardless of, of, of the outcome. Yung lumapan lang talaga. So uh, we're always. Um, you know, thankful for that, and you know, personally, this is this is like a dream come true to me. You know, to, to, to your first question, um, you know, like I said, the coach Gord is uh, like a father to me already. So, no, um, when I was playing for him, um, I've always, I've always knew that he had the, the ability to to coach in, in a collegiate level. Medyo na, medyo na delay lang ng konte kaya nung when he got the call. You know, to, to be the head coach here, I, I was just so happy. I was just so happy for him. And uh, I was just privileged to see him again. Congratulations! <laughs>